What is going on all of you gamers and music enthusiasts, professional and casual out there in the world? I'm Mega Amster. Thank you for checking out this YouTube video. If you're new here, hey, welcome to the channel. Good to see you here. Returning viewers, always great to see you here. Thank you for all of the support. It really means a lot to me. We are here to talk about one of my favorite aspects in gaming. And I mean, the gameplay, of course, is really fun. You know, characters and story can be great. For me, I love listening to video game soundtracks, as many of you out there might. Um, you know, video game music is kind of, it really shouldn't be in its own th genre, but it kind of is. But like, it's so diverse. It's so varied across different genres and different kind of moods that a game and tone a game is trying to set, right? And different music can be used as a tool in games to really immerse you in the experience. And that's specifically what I want to talk about today. How these music tracks can kind of just add to your gameplay experience, kind of make you feel like you're in the game world and you're living, breathing in that world through these characters you're playing as, whether it's an avatar character or an actual established character in the story, um, you know, and just kind of being able to feel like you're part of that world. Because, <laughs> and, and I don't know if it's, sorry, but I'm gonna, I have a little bit of a cough, so hopefully it goes away soon, but you might have to deal with that a little bit. I feel like it's not talked about as often as it should be. You know, obviously, like I said, gameplay, character, story are very important, but music really can add a lot to that immersion. So whether it's, you know, more atmospheric, like more melancholy or like calmer tunes or like more upbeat ones that kind of get you pumping, you know, we're going to kind of explore a bunch today. So I handpicked a bunch that really came to mind when I thought of this topic. And I asked a few uh, the viewers on the channel here and got some recommendations. So we're going to check those out. Almost all of those I've not heard before. So that'll be kind of new for me. So let's jump into it here of course we got kirby he's ready to he's ready to vibe as well let's jump into one that this was the first one one of the first ones i should say that came to my mind and that is xenoblade chronicles now xenoblade i've only played definitive edition haven't played two or three we'll get to one of those later as well um just pinnacle of immersion in terms of game music you know you could pick literally any songs any of the battle songs any of the overworld themes i specifically went with probably the one of the most recognized overworld themes uh, themes in the game being Gower Plains. Now, the cool thing about Gower Plains is that there's both a day and a night version. So what we're going to do for these is just take take a little bit. I might close my eyes for this. Sorry if it gets weird, but I, maybe you can do the same as well. You know, if you're interested, feel free to. And we're just going to kind of listen to the music and just like picture. Let me know in the comments below while we do this too. Like what comes to mind when you hear these songs? Of course, if you play this game, you'll probably think of that event in the game or that environment in the game right that's probably what i'll be doing for a lot of these but you know even if you haven't just like feel free to listen and kind of see what you think so let's go we're gonna go with gower plains day here let's do it right just picture yourself now obviously i know xenoblade chronicles where this takes place you know it's a very kind of joyful upbeat song almost like ready to set out on some kind of adventure right Nothing like super in your face, but it's so catchy and so memorable. And as the first song or the first main, like not the first overworld song, but one of the first like big in your face when your adventure really starts in that game, this is it. And so it's just like in your face, it's important to hook you with this kind of catchy theme. And I mean, Xenoblade does that in space. Sorry for pausing. Let's do a little more of Xenob um, Gower Plains Day. Oh, like the, the harp in the background too is so good. I love this game. The music in this game is phenomenal. Boom, boom, bum. That's, oh, it's so good. You know, you can just imagine you and your crew just running through vast fields of grass and just blues, maybe some clouds in the sky. You know, very like, I imagine it being like a sunny, clear blue sky day, you know? So like joyful, but also kind of relaxing. Now, you want to talk about relaxing. Let's get into the nighttime one here. You ready? Still Gower Plains, but different time of day, obviously. Oh, that hits, that hits. Not just because I had a shot of tequila before this either. <laughs> There it is. A lot calmer than the other one, right? But I think it's...
I think it's like percussion in the background, but they make them sound like crickets, which is really cool. You hear it? The you hear that in the background? It's cool. But still that same catchy melody, but obviously a lot calmer now. So that's such a vibe song. That is such a vibe song. It's so good. But anyways, that's just a taste of Xenoblade Chronicles. We're going to get to more Xenoblade Chronicles later. Not definitive, definitive edition, but another game. Anyways, let's move on to something that some of you may know I am much more familiar with across the entire series, and that's Sonic. Forgot I left the Sonic gif up here. Sonic music, for the most part, is very in-your-face, but sometimes it's a little more, um, a little more atmospheric, immersive, so we're going to a little more low-key. So we're going to kind of take an example of both of them here. One of my favorite games, my favorite 3D Sonic game for sure, is Sonic Adventure. And Emerald Coast, but specifically the big version. I know, say what you will about big, this gameplay is not fun in that game, but the song is such a vibe. Let's go, you ready? Like, yeah, this song is such a vibe. This to me, I mean, because I played the game, this to me is Sunny Day Beach Song. I don't even know what that instrument is. The is that just a guitar? Like, what is that instrument? If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Oh, the percussion. Oh, it's so, it's such good feels, and that's what Big's all about in the game. You know, like obviously he's trying to get his friend Froggy back, but he's just like vibing and enjoying the fishing all the way. That's what I love about the song. Even more so than the regular version of Emerald Coast, like uh, Sonic and Tails get to experience. Wait, no, you don't play as Tails and Emerald Coast. I love Gamma, I guess technically. So that's a good one. Like I said, more of a low key kind of immersive one, but songs can also be more in your face. And so here's a great example. Um, shout out to T Lopes, my, my guy. We've got Sonic Mania, specifically Rogue's Gallery, which is Mirage Saloon Act 2. Might be my favorite song in the game. I love this. This is such a bop. Also, you're gonna, you might get some Sunny Day vibes from this, but experience it yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here we go. Oh, no, I didn't start from the beginning. Crap. Forgot to reset these. Here we go. The, the whistle in the background adds so much. Ready? Oh, I love this. This is one of my favorite songs out of any game, dude. It's like such sunny day, but more like deserty Western vibes, right? Like the flutes in the background and just, I don't know. But it still hits hard. It absolutely slaps. I love this song. All right, we can't make this go on forever. But anyways, you get the idea. It's it's like same like joyful kind of vibe and like obviously like beach and desert. You can kind of kind of similar. You can, there's sand. You love sand. Um, I would make a Star Wars joke, but that's overdone. Um, but it's much more in your face, but it still adds to the immersion, right? You can imagine yourself like just kind of like jamming to this. Imagine like an old Western movie where they're just kind of bopping along as they go up for the, uh, the noon showdown, as they would call it. But let's get back to the actual low-key immersive ones. This is a big one for me. Man, we got to talk about Bayonetta because most of the songs are action-packed in your face. But the Gates of Hell, which is the bar you go into that Rodan runs, all I'm going to say, and I will not say any more than this, I would do things with this song in the background. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Enjoy. This is the kind of music I listen to to wind down. Oh, and the trumpet. It's so good. It's so much more low key because the gates of hell is the place you kind of go back to after every like chapter you do in Bayonetta, which obviously action-packed, fast-paced battle. This is where you go to cool down, buy some weapons, buy other items, like healing items and stuff, and just fucking chill. 
that's what's great about this song, and it captures that vibe perfectly. Let's listen a little longer. Oof, that piano, so good. I suppose if you're not a huge fan of, uh, like, smooth jazz, you may have less of an appreciation for it. It's not for everybody. Oof. Yeah, you get the idea. Such a good song. That's so low-key. All right. Um, this one is interesting. This is kind of low-key, but at the same time, it's a little bit different. I almost forgot to add some crap. Okay. It's a little bit different. This is the song of healing from Majora's Mask. And this song, it plays a few times in the game, if I remember correctly, but definitely at the beginning, when you first get to Termina and you kind of meet with the happy mask salesman before you embark on the new journey in the land of Termina, right? This song, I, this is the most complicated of songs ever made me feel in my entire life because I feel like kind of happy, like I get ch joyful chills, but it's also so somber and creepy. I don't know how this song does it, but like, just give it a listen. I apologize if I get emotional. The song makes me very emotional, so. This is a good one. Mm. That hits on so many levels. It's so simple, but it's like haunting, but there's almost something joyful of it. And, I, and part of it might be because it's um like, um, fans have pointed out the main part of it is Saria's song backwards. No idea to the safe is intentional. I like to think it is, just on Anuma and the team's part, but maybe that's where the joyful part comes out of, but it's like, it's still very creepy. And it sets the entire tone of the game, like this kind of disturbing, weird world that you're in, almost a dreamlike state. But there is a little bit of hope in there. And I think this song, out of any song in this entire list we're gonna go through, might capture that almost the most perfectly. A little more. I want you to listen without me talking for a little bit. Oh, that's so good. God, I can, okay. I love this. I could listen to a song all night. It's just, it's one of the songs I go to when I'm like feeling down and it just like, it just, I don't know, it hits so right. All right. Um, what do I have up next? Oh, I know what that is. Okay. Um, yeah, we can do these first. There's a couple more I want to do first. So let's do the, okay. So you already saw what it was. Complete, complete mood whiplash. I apologize. Um, we are going into Doom. This is specifically Doom Eternal. This is probably gonna get me a copyright claim. I don't care. As long as it doesn't give me a strike or anything. This is the Mick Gordon song, The Only Thing They Fear Is You. So Doom, very fast-paced, very action-packed. You are gunning down demons on Mars, hell, wherever it is, and you're kind of going around. And like for this kind of game, you need that blood-pumping song to keep you going. And trust me, this does it. So if you, if you haven't heard this one, buckle in. Oh, I wish I could turn it up louder. I mean, I could, but it, it would get very loud. So like this just blaring, dude, it's so good. This is one reason why I love Doom Eternal. Check out my top 25 games, favorite games of all time uh, video if you're interested in checking out why I love that game so much. This is one of the reasons. Oh, it's so like, ooh, that synth. Boom, doom, doo doo. I can't get over that guitar. Boom, doom, 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 doo 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 doo. Dude, it's so good. It's so good. Is it gonna, okay. This might be another mix of it. This is the 10 hour mix. I would listen to this for 10 hours, like during a workout. Are you kidding me? I would do it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, we can't listen to this all day, but man, that, if you wanna talk about getting in the zone, like pumped up action, like doing whether it's playing this game or a game like it or like something physical like that this is it so good all right back to, I, this 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 video is all mood whiplashes i should have organized this better back to kind of like the song of healing i really haven't played much of halo but of course a lot of people know the halo theme and for good reason it really establishes that atmosphere that halo seems to be known for so in case you don't know it here we go you just hear like the 
kind of gives you the thoughts of deep outer space, right? Very echoey, makes good use of like the spatial awareness. That's good. I'm almost just picturing myself like floating in space, you know, just like waiting. Oh, I don't know this part. This is new to me. Oh, God, I didn't know I had percussion like this. Damn. Whoa. This is the first time you're hearing me react to this. What the? F this is sick. Okay, I only know that first part from all the memes. Ooh, this hits. This is like we're ready to go out on a space adventure. Let's go get out there, explore the universe, see what awaits, you know? And it's all about the instrumentation. It's all about the key of the song and the chords being used. It's, oh yes, this is almost like pirate vibes in a way, but like space pirate. Speaking of space pirate, I forgot to look these up and this is the reason why I made this video. I forgot to include these. Okay, we got to talk about Metroid. Metroid's the pinnacle of like game atmosphere. So we're gonna do a couple here. Um, first of all, oh crap. Quickly plug in my keyboard. All right. We gotta talk about Metroid Prime. Specifically, Fendrana Drifts is a really good pick for this, I think. I love the sound of Fendrana Drifts. So we're gonna get into it here. You know, there's kind of like the little, it kind of like, for the most part, you get the higher, higher octave notes and then like the background, almost like a whirlwind, but it feels like cold, but not in a bad way, you know? It's like cold, but has a little bit of like hope and joy in it in the background, you know? It's just that perfect ice world. So whenever I think of like, Immersive ice world music. This is it. Ba -na -na -na. And the little echoey noises that kind of fade into the background. So good. Fendrana drifts. Peak. Peak. All right. One more. One more. Oh, we we got to talk about. We gotta. We gotta consider. Freaking Metroid Dread. Of course. Now Metroid Dread in particular. I've mentioned this before. Kind of went more into the um. The atmospheric rather than the catchy. Um, Berenia, I believe this is what I'm thinking of, the water level specifically. And then I ignore the ads. Um, whereas, you know, you get a little more catchy tunes in some of the earlier 2D Metroid games. This one goes full on immersion. And personally, I love that they did it. Like, kind of like for the same reason with Fenjana GIFs, you know, it really adds to the atmosphere. Yes, this is the one. Notice how they literally have like the distorted, almost bubbly noises in the background. Listen for him. Similar idea to the instrumentation they use for Fendrana Drifts, but to like convey the specific like elemental atmosphere of the environment you're in, right? Like this is a this is an underwater song for sure. And like more eerie, less hope than Fendrana Drifts, but definitely more eerie, which is a lot of Dread's identity, you know, in inspiring Dread in the players, right? All right, that's good. You get the idea, but love the soundtrack. Absolutely great. All right, that's all of my personal picks that I had for this. So what we are going to do now is get into some viewer picks. So a few of you decided to leave some picks. I appreciate you doing that. Um, I had to pull out on the channel to decide that. So first, we are going to take a look at, I believe, and feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, Rising Dragon Soul pick was Lineland Road from Super Paper Mario, which I've never played any of the Paper Mario games, but uh, Lineland Road. Let's get into it. Ooh. Most of these I haven't heard before, so. Okay, it's like the classic theme. Hmm. I love this. This is good vibes. This is like good vibes to the song. But like, not super complicated. I love the bell in the background too. Not overly complicated. Like you get the feeling this might be an intro area to the game, right? Which I imagine it is. Let me know in the comments if it is an early area. 
Now, what I'm actually gonna do quickly is I, for most of these, I pulled up some gameplay. And so first I'm gonna picture what I think of in my mind. Definitely, I try not to look at the gameplay too much when I pulled it up. Definitely like first world kind of vibes. Um, like almost one of the first areas. Probably pretty simple, like grassy kind of area. Um, maybe some simple like Goomba enemies you're kind of going through. Good beginner course. So let's take a look at some gameplay here and see what it looks like. Oh, I've, okay. Oh, I love the 8-bit Marios. Bop, bop, bop. Is that Mario Land right here? Da -da 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 -da. I did not hear this part. Um, ba -da -da -bum, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. That was definitely Mario World's Ever Road theme. I love the incorporations of the older songs. Ba -da -ba. And it also works that they have the 8 bit Marios there. That's wild. Is that part of the game? I've never played this game. But yeah, kind of like the grassy overworld. Some trees too. That's cool. I imagine this is one of the starting areas. Especially because the HP is 10, I'm guessing that's probably the minimum you start with. I love it. Good vibes. Good pick, Rising Dragon Soul. I appreciate you sending that one in. Where is my tab? There we go. All right. That is Rising Dragon Soul pick. Next, we've got Huey's pick. And Huey picked, honestly, any of the overworld themes from Jack 2, which I also have not played. Um, specifically, I found this one called Haven City Walking Theme. Let me know in the comments below what a section of the game this is. But let's give it a bit of a listen. Oh, gives me like song of healing vibes, but like obviously a lower octave. But this almost sounds like an underwater city, either underwater or like nighttime kind of like sneaking around, you know, something a little more calm, but also maybe intense. It's definitely like a minor key there. Um, I pulled up some gameplay here. I think? No, I did not. Okay. Because I was trying to find gameplay for this. I couldn't find it. But let's listen to it a little bit more. Should we hear anybody else? You have to let me know in the comments below what uh, what the gameplay this is like. But I imagine it's nighttime for sure. Now that I'm hearing it, it might be kind of like sneaking around a city at night. But also could be underwater. Well, it is called Haven City, so... Ooh, I like it. I like this. Talk about atmospheric. This really sets the tone for what I imagine to be that part of the game. But you'll have to let me know in the comments below what that is. But uh, thank you, Huey, for your contribution. I really appreciate it. Um, next, we have Sloshicle's pick. So thank you, Sloshicle. Um, like I said, we're coming back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Sloshicle picked a few different ones. Um, I just chose one for, well, technically two, but you'll see why. Um, similar to Xenoblade Chronicles 5th Edition, where we had Gower Plains, we have both day and night versions of what is called High Mock the Wildwoods. Now, I have not played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or 3, barely any of X, but um, let's give this a listen. Okay. This is daytime. Okay, interesting. I imagine very, like, jungle-heavy environment. Well, it's a Wildwoods, I guess, so maybe. Hmm. Kind of ominous. Hmm. I'm imagining like jungle kind of flies around. Maybe that's not what it, I have no idea. I could be completely off. Okay, but a little ominous. Like maybe there's some danger deep in the heart of the jungle, right? I'm trying to picture it. I'm trying to get the image of just Uni out of my head. <laughs> I did find some game, find some gameplay for this. Let's see if this is any, oh. Oh, there's Uni. Oh, interesting. It's like ruins. No, I hear it. I hear it. I was thinking like deep jungle, but ruins I can definitely hear. Okay. Well, maybe in the flute there's a little more hope. It's a lot more low-key. It's not like all hope is lost with the uh, the tone of this song, but it's definitely interesting. I like it, though. Very, very much atmospheric. It's definitely not catchy like Gower Plains, but it really sets the tone. Cool. All right, let's give the night version a listen, because I got that one up as well. Okay, it kind of starts off the same. But also kind of sounds even more ominous. You hear like that bass and then like the... I don't even know what you call that. Oh. 
Ooh, okay. I love the use, and I feel like this is a motif with this whole game, is like the the flutes are used a lot in even just these two tracks. Let me know in the comments below if that's kind of like a common theme in the game. Now, the gameplay won't fit as much because this is, I imagine, daytime, but it is foggy. Yeah, you know, okay, in comparison, it sounds way more like nighttime. Almost like you're getting deep, like lost in these ruins in this huge, I guess, woods, but jungle kind of area. Very ominous. Like you don't know what secret boss or creature is going to come up next, right? Very cool. All right. Thank you very much, Logical, for that pick. That's awesome. Thank you for those. Um, finally, we have a couple picks from Pinata. Pinata gave me so many different picks, so thank you. I just narrowed them down to two different ones that I think would fill. Uh, kind of fit well here so first of all let's see where did i okay there we go i got to move this over here we have devil trigger which is nero's battle theme from devil may cry 5 now probably going to be in a similar line to the uh doom eternal song probably more in your face pumped up action kind of the opposite of the bayonetta situation but let's jump into it if any song's going to get me a claim it's either this or the only thing that fear is you Okay, okay. Starts off kind of atmospheric. Very intense. Oh? Ooh. Those vocals is very faint in the distance. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. Blood starting to boil, starting to rise. You're ready to beat up some goons. I don't even know if they're demons. I have not played five yet. I'm just starting three. Let's get some gameplay going. So here we got some Nero gameplay. I guess it hasn't fully kicked in yet, but I think the song kicks in later. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, there it is. Now it hits. You gotta build up. You gotta get to the good part. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, okay, this is it. Just like the only thing they fear is you. This is the banger part. Ooh, that synth, the vocals. Even Devil May Cry 3 has these like distorted demonic vocals and it fits these games so well in terms of the action. Ooh. Oh. This is so good. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'm already feeling, I'm already feeling more pumped up now. This is great. All right, we can't listen to the full thing. I wish we could, but man, that's good. That's good stuff. All right, final pick. So this video isn't longer than half an hour. Personal favorite game of mine this year, Hi-Fi Rush. Now this game soundtrack in particular, especially if you're into rock music, not even just rock music. This example really isn't, this isn't really an example of that. This one we're going to check out, but um, like each boss has its own theme. Each level has its own music theme. And it, the game is designed around, music is such an important part of this game, it's designed around the stages, around the bosses. So in particular, this one Pinata picked, which honestly is probably the best pick for any like immersive boss fight theme in the game, is the song called My Heart Feels No Pain, which is, if you know Hi-Fi Rush, they kind of take existing licensed songs and kind of arrange them into their own versions of the game, which uh, for like streamer mode, you can turn on so you don't get the claims and uh, make it fit the themes or bosses more. Um, this one's specifically based off a of Fiona Apple song called Fast As You Can, but this is the Mimosa boss fight. So let's give it a listen first, and then we're going to get into the gameplay. So here we go. Oh, that popping intro. I want you to listen specifically to the boom, boom of the piano. Boom, 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 boom. And of course, the vocals are so good. And all the brass in the background is so good. Now watch the boss fight. I don't think I could time it right. Oh, I kind of timed it right. Look at her. Watch her wings and listen to this music. Okay, she doesn't do it there. But keep watching. Watch when Mimosa flies up in the air and watch her wings movement there. If we can get back to that. Feels no. Boom. Boom. But you see how her wings move to the downbeat? I love that. 
That's what makes this fight and song so good. And it adds to the immersion. Like I said, this game is designed around music. That's really, it lends itself so well. And it's a whole stage play. It's a whole show she's putting on for the crowd. And you're fighting her while you do this. So it just fits so well. What? This is a great example to end on. So thank you, Pinata, for, uh, you know, giving us this pick. But with that, we are going to leave that video off here. I'll turn it up a little bit. We're going to leave the video off here before it gets to quite half. Oh, it's over half an hour. There we go. So I want to thank you all for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these different songs. If you felt anything, you know, if you felt like if you pictured certain ideas, let me know for each song in the comments below if you're interested. And if you have any other examples of songs that really add to your own sense of immersion for a game, definitely drop them in the comments below. I'd be curious to check them out. Um, God, I love the saxophone so much. Thank you for watching again. I will catch you all in the next one. And hey, don't let anybody tell you that game music is not important because this video clearly disproves that. So have a great one. Go listen to some tunes and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye for now.